Hey, welcome back to my uh, video transplant diary. Um, just to update you guys, I've just come from the uh, Maitland Clinic uh, a few hours ago. Got down there for a, a two o'clock appointment. Uh, come out there about seven o'clock. We shot a couple of videos down there, which I don't know, they've come out as well as I'd like. I don't think they really show uh, enough detail. So um, I wanted to kind of talk you through what's happened today, really. Um, and that would be uh, this. There we go, look at that. Um, I've been down there all afternoon uh, filling in paperwork um, and having the proposed line plotted out in my head. And uh, I've come home today, I drove home with it like that. I don't know how well you can pick that up. I'll try my absolute best, but it's probably not easy. So there we go there. So uh, this zone here, um, from memory, if I'm correct, is saying that these will be packed very well with uh, threes, with some fine feathering along the way to kind of give it a natural line, hairline. Uh, and then I think they use a different number of graphs here. And I'll try and get right over the top. Now, I don't know if I'm hitting here or not. That's a guess, okay? So, uh, yeah, the crown will be filled in. We're looking at about, um, again, three, seven to 4,000 graphs, somewhere in there, and they... What they've done is they, they use a, a, some kind of density sort of calculator and, 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 and use an approximate figure. Won't know until tomorrow. Um, and I'm having the strip surgery done. So I'm going to try my absolute best to show you because it's already been, it's been marked out. I'm really sorry about the camera going around. I'm trying my best here. Um, I'm going to scoot around a little bit and see if I can show you where, um, where the strip's going to come out actually. So I have no idea if you can see this, the, uh, at some point you'll see two purple lines exposed. Well, that's effectively going to be the strip uh, there. Let me see if I can get it in the back. God, I don't know if I'm getting this at all, guys. I absolutely have no idea. Try again, try again. Oh, <laughs> tell me that's missing. I bet that's missing by a friggin' mile. Maybe I need someone else to shoot this, but there's the strip, hopefully. I suppose I need to play that back and shoot that again. But um, yeah, surgery tomorrow um, at 7am. It's uh, it's going to be a long day, no question. They've said that these things can just run on for hours and hours, and it all it all swings on on how well your scalp takes the graphs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some some take it really easily. Some it's a bit more of a, an uphill battle. Popping one in, one pops out. So it, it really depends. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys where we are. I'm also what am I, two months in now taking Propecia. Um, is it any different? There you go. There's a long shot there. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But there's the there's the proposed hairline. Um, my guesstimate estimate is I I believe I had hair somewhere around this kind of area as down as this far I mean I'm 46 now so it's not as important to, to get it right down here I just want this full up so the logic is this full up here with a fringe job done so so much better um, so yeah listen I'm gonna tomorrow I will try and shoot as much of the uh, the procedure as I can um, obviously won't be in control of being able to film so much of the strip being removed but I certainly can hand hold while the graphs are going in I, I very much doubt I'll give you a huge amount of commentary along the way uh, I'm not that kind of guy that wants to stand in front of loads of people and you know perform um, but I will certainly put video out there of as much as I can and the following weeks I will well following days actually I'll I'll give you regular updates on where we are. So yes, tomorrow, 29th of November 2016, I will have more hair come the evening than I have right now. Um, catch you guys tomorrow. Lovely, thank you.